Hello everyone, Robert Robert and Mai here, and welcome back to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to do chemical step, which is known as one of the hardest, well, steps to do in, well, Infinite Warfare in Call of Duty Zombies history, from what I've heard. So, I'm going to be showing you how to do it, because it is actually not as complicated as people say, or make it out to be. Now, all of these are going to be screenshots, because whenever I try doing clips, my video gets taken down to copyright, even though I'm using my own clips that I've pulled from my streams but doesn't matter. Let's get into it so I can show you what to do. So first off, you need to start by making the actual, well, key to get into the garage so you can make your chemicals. Now to do that, you have to get all the mirrors and all the zombie parts, which will be in a video I'm making soon, showing you how to do the entire boss fight. But to do it, all the numbers consist of the same numbers, which is three, four, five, six, and eight. Those are the numbers that it will be. It will always be jumbled around, but the numbers that you need to complete this actual step will always be three, four, five, six, and eight. It will not be, those numbers will not change in any way, shape, or form. Eight will always be last, by the way. But once you do that, uh, the key will pop up. You have to do it once, and then you have to do it backwards. So it will be those numbers, and you have to do it backwards, you grab the key. Anyways, once you do that, you need to get your parts to actually build your chemicals. So there'll be one in like the shopping mall, uh, which will be like this tube thing. There'll be another one on the bench, which you need to grab uh, right next to the chemical board and near the arm in the fire. There'll be another place uh, going down towards the beach, which will be like this giant box. You you won't miss it. You'll be sitting there. Now you need the parts to build the bomb. There'll be one underneath the car. Uh, there'll be like this little ball thing, which you need to grab. Then after that, you need to get the filter, uh, which will be in between the gate going from Spawn to Elvira's place. And the last one will be like this metal rod thing, which is found underneath the bridge right near where the zombie arm is. Now once you do that, you have to place those parts into the bomb and you need to place the other parts into the table and those will make what we got here. And now is the actual chemical step. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky uh, and I'll explain it from here. So basically, in Elvira's place, there will be a TV screen uh, with numbers on it. So it will be one uh, saying green, red, and blue. What your job is to do is to figure out which color your screen is so you can actually get the right numbers to build your chemical. Now, uh, to do this, there's a, l a little bit of a, of a little trick to it. Um, but to quickly point out before I actually tell you how to do the chemical step and give you all the chemicals and how to build it, um, all you really need to know is like if you want to change the color, which you need to do anyways, that it's right behind, well, in Elvira's place, right where the screen is. But how you do it is in the hotel, there will be like this little um, thing on the wall. And that will be like your base number that you need to times all the other numbers by. So, for example, it might say, I don't know, two, for example, it might have two on there. Um, and what you have to do is with the number that's on that wall, you need to go to each other number location and figure out what your number is because the total number will be on that TV screen. So there'll be one in the Pack-A-Punch sort of room. So when you go to Pack-A-Punch and click the button, it takes you there. There'll be one on the fridge. There'll be one right next to where you actually build the chemical, um, which will just be chilling there. Uh, it will be on like the door. Um, and then there'll be one underneath the bridge, which is always a bigger number um, most of the time and a little smaller one. And the final one will be inside the supermarket, which will be chilling on the wall right next to the fridge when you come in through power station. Now once you've done that, all you have to do is add your numbers together and the number that is closest on there will be your actual total number to build your chemical. Um, now, the best way to do it, my recommendation anyways, is um, take, just look at the number that's in the motel slash hotel um, and then go to all the numbers and just times it and find the one that's closest to that number um, if it's too high, you'll know, but yeah, uh, the actual chemical boards, it's never the, usually the base color. It's always, you have to always change the color to find it. Um, but the numbers always change on the boards, right? So if you choose a color, the numbers on it will change. So you can't take a photo of one color and just build the chemicals thinking you're going to get it done because that's not how it works. Um, you have to find the right color to build the chemical. Uh, if you don't have the right color, you won't get it done. But like I said, to get the color entirely from the TV screen, it's mainly just get the number from the hotel and then times it by the numbers on the bridge, uh, and then you've got it. But like I said, it you don't need to change the color to find the number for the bridge. The easiest way to do it is just get the number and times it by all the numbers there. Not all together, just like, I don't know, if it was like six on the hotel and like five uh, on the bridge, you just have to times those two together. 
um, and then whatever that number equals, it stats your, well, that's your chemical. Um, and, like, for example, if, the, like, green was 107 and it was 100 and, like, higher than 107 and it was, like, 108, 100 to 9 or something, that would be a number. It was, like, 110 or 120 or so, it wouldn't be a number because that's way too high. So it has to be the closest two reaction numbers on the board. But to do the actual chemical step is fairly easy. So, like I said, you need to go find the right colour. It says the colour on the TV screen, which you need to change it to once you have your number, but you need to remember that number. Um, well, basically, you need to remember whatever the number is on the bridge, and I'll explain that in a moment. Um, but you have to go change the colour, find the right colour, um, and then you can start building chemicals. But you need to take a photo of, in that colour, you need to take a photo of all the boards because the numbers on there are the numbers you need to actually build your chemical. Um, and if you don't have that, you won't be able to build your chemical and you basically screwed yourself because you need to go do it all over again. Um, so I just suggest find your number, change your colour, get screenshots, take photos on your phone, however you want to do it, and then keep those on you. But once you've done that, you need to go back to where you have, uh, well, build your chemical. Um, and once you're there, you just need a. well, my recommendation is place your parts in a bomb first and then start to build your chemical because it will stuff you up later, but I think you've got it when you actually haven't. But you need to type the numbers into the machine um, and then press the button to create it. But here's the step in how to do it. Um, by adding the two numbers on the side, and that's how I'll explain to you now because this part does get a little tricky, but it's easy. Okay, so this is how you actually build chemical step and how to do it. I'll have things cut off and how to actually build each ingredient and stuff. Um, you can just pause the video if you want to uh, see the actual things necessary to build it, but I'll also leave it in the description as well if people want it as well. But to build chemical step, right, to actually do it, um, what you need is you need to have uh, your O number, which is the number uh, you found on either the wall outside of the garage, the one underneath the bridge, the one in the wall, um, well, sorry, door in the garage, the one on the wall um, inside the shopping center or shopping mall thing, um, and also the one that's in RV. So whichever one of those was the number you needed to build, well, not to build, but like to find your number on the TV screen, that's your own number. You need to remember that number. Um, so, for example, uh, imagine if the one on the bridge was free. You need to remember that number. You need to always remember that your number was free. Um, and then what you have to do after that is with the photos you got before, so the photos you took of each chemical board in that colour, um, you need to plus the two, the left number and the top number together. So, for example, it could be like two and three. Um, so, if you plus those two together, it would be six. And then you minus that by your own number, So, which is, we said before, is three. So, if it was three minus six, well, that would be three. So, that means the number you type in would be three, but you can't just type down three. You have to click zero, then three for it to actually work. But the how to this is how you actually build each chemical is starting from here. So let me tell you each thing you need for the chemical. Okay, the first one I'm going to tell you how to build is how to build three methyl one two four dinitrobenzene. So to build it, the first ingredients you're going to need is drain cleaner, paint, and detergent. That will build you methyl benzene. After that, and you have methyl benzene built, you then need methyl benzene baking soda and vinegar to oh, and detergent to create dinitro. Once you've done that, the last chemical you need will be dinitro and racing fuel to create free methyl 1,2,4 dinitro benzene. Now this is how you cook octahydro 2,5 nitro 3,4,7 para, I think it's zinc or zinc, I don't know. Um, but the first thing you need is you're going to need racing fuel and quarters to create formaldehyde. Your second mixture you'll make will be formaldehyde glass cleaner, which will create your hexamine. The last one you need for your final chemical before you build your base chemical will be hexamine, vinegar, plant food, and detergent. Once you've done those, you will build octahydro 25 nitro 347 para zinc zinc. I don't know. That, whichever that one is. This is how you cook 3,4 dinitroxymethylpropane. The first thing you need is you're going to need vodka and pennies to create actahalohyde. 
The second chemicals you're going to need will be quarters racing fuel to create for homohyde. The next chemical you'll need will be actahalohyde, fluhomohyde and detergent which will make your aldehyde sludge. The final chemicals you're going to need is your aldehyde sludge and nail polish remover which will make you 3,4-dionitoxymethylpropane. The final chemical which you need to build, uh, well this could be your final chemical, will be how to cook 135-teronitrophenol. The first things you're going to need will be motor oil, insect repellent, and wheel cleaner, which will give you pheranol. The second mixtures you'll need will be pheranol, drain cleaner, which will create phenosophic acid. And the final chemical you'll need is the phenosophic acid and detergent, which will create your 135 teronitrophenol. Now that all that's out the way, that is how you build your chemical step. Now my recommendations of which order to do is try and create whichever one had fluhomohyde first, which I'm pretty sure was octahydro, um, yeah, octahydro, 25 nitro, 347 para zinc, zinc, whatever. That's always the best one to make first, and then after that, make 34 dinitroxymethylpropane if it's not um, octahydro and then go whichever one you want after that for Terra or if you want um, Mephril. So it's up to you how you want to build it, but that's just my recommendations on how to do it. Um, now, before I go, I just want to quickly say, uh, well, although it seems hard and people overcomplicate things, if you do fail the chemical, you can just rebuild it. Um, there's no, There's nothing that can stop you from doing it. Um, sometimes it can glitch out and you can't place down stuff and it's just stupid and that happens. Um, but if you get the wrong chemical and it doesn't go into your bomb, don't freak out. Just build another chemical right after that. So if the base chemical doesn't go in, build another base chemical. And if that doesn't go in, build the next one. If that one doesn't go in, build the next one. But you need to always build your base chemical before placing it in. Well, that's how you do chemical step, everyone. Hopefully, it's not that complicated to understand. I'll leave timestamps in the description on how to do everything um, and how to do each chemical and stuff. I'll also leave the list of the ingredients you need and how to actually make um, the actual chemical. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you later, everyone.